This LOS is define shortfall risk, calculate the safety first ratio, and select an optimal portfolio by using Roy's safety first criterion. Shortfall risk. Shortfall risk is the probability that a portfolio return or value will be below a target return or value. Suppose an investor views any return below a level of RL as unacceptable, Roy Safety First Criterion states that the optimal portfolio minimizes the probability that the portfolio return, RP, falls below the threshold level of RL. So Roy's Safety First Ratio is the expected return of the portfolio minus RL, which is the minimum return uh, acceptable, divided by the standard deviation of the portfolio. The quantity ERP minus uh, uh, RL is the distance from the mean return to the shortfall level. Dividing this distance by the standard deviation of the portfolio gives the distance in units of standard deviation. Note that if RL equals the risk-free rate, then the safety first ratio is the same as the sharp ratio. There are two steps in ch uh, choosing among portfolios using Roy's criterion, assuming normality. Number one, we're going to calculate each portfolio's safety first ratio, and then we're going to choose the portfolio with the highest safety first ratio. Similar to that, we want to choose the same, uh, the portfolio that has the highest sharp ratio, because we're looking at return in the numerator and risk in the denominator. Let us work through an example. You're researching asset allocations for a client in Canada with a $800,000 portfolio. Although her investment objective is long-term growth, at the end of the year she may want to liquidate 30000 Canadian of the portfolio to fund educational expenses. If that need arises, she would like to be able to take out the 30000 without invading the capital of the 800000 Okay? So there's uh, three portfolios, uh, A, B, and C to consider. The expected annual return of A is 25%, standard deviation of 27. B has an expected return of 11% and a standard deviation of 8%. And C has an expected annual return of 14%, standard deviation of 20%. Okay? So first of all, step one, what you need to do is to calculate that minimum return. So she wants to liquidate $30,000 from an $800,000 portfolio. So 30,000 divided by 800,000 gives us our RL. That's our RL, our minimum return of 3.75%. Then the second step that we want to do is calculate the safety first ratio for each of the portfolios. Remember, that's the expected return of the portfolio minus that RL. So here, that's how we do it for A, 25 uh, expected return minus 3.75, the RL, divided by 27 we get 0 0.78704. On B, it's going to be 11 minus 3.75 divided by 8. We get 0 0.90625. And for C, portfolio C, 14% expected annual return minus the 3.75 RL divided by 20. We get 0 0.5125. So you're going to choose portfolio B. You're going to choose the portfolio with the highest safety first ratio. Let's do a practice problem to check your understanding. A portfolio manager gathers the following information about three possible al asset allocations. Allocation number one has an expected annual return of 13%, standard deviation of 6%. Allocation two has an expected annual return of 26%, standard deviation of 14%. And allocation 3 has expected annual return of 32% with a standard deviation of 20%. The manager's client has stated that her minimum acceptable return is 8%. Based on Roy's safety first criterion, the most appropriate allocation is for allocation 1, allocation 2, or allocation 3. I'm hoping that you'll agree with me that this question is quite easy. So remember the safety first ratio was the expected return of the portfolio minus the minimum return divided by the standard deviation of the portfolio. So for uh, asset allocation one, we would do 13% minus the 8% divided by 
okay? Uh, for asset allocation two, we would do 26 minus eight divided by 14. And for number three, allocation three, we do the 32% return minus the 8% minimum required divided by 20. And that's gonna give us safety first ratios for one of 0 0.83, two, 1.29, and three, 1.2. So we choose the largest number. So we would choose um, allocation B. We'll just finish this LOS with one more practice question just for a bit of fun. So an investor currently has a portfolio valued at 700,000. The investor's long uh, objective is long-term growth, but the investor will need 30,000 by the end of the year to pay her son's college tuition and another 10,000 for her annual vacation. The investor is considering three alternative portfolios. Portfolio one, expected return of 8%, standard deviations of returns 10%. Uh, portfolio two, expected return 10%, standard deviation 13%, and portfolio three, expected return 14%, standard deviation of 22%. Using Roy's safety first criterion, which of the following portfolios most likely minimizes the probability that the investor's portfolio will have a value lower than 700,000 at year end? Is it at A, portfolio one, B, portfolio two, or C, portfolio three. Again, this was quite easy, but it's good to practice. So the minimum return in this case was 40,000 because it was the 30,000 plus the 10,000 divided by 700,000, so it's 5.71%. So we're just gonna do the same thing here, 8% minus 5.71, put that in brackets, divided by 10%. 10% minus 5.71 divided by 13%, and 14% divided uh, minus 5.71 divided by 22, which that was going to give us 0 0.3768, uh, and that was the highest safety first ratio. We choose the portfolio with the highest um, safety first. Okay, so that that's a pretty easy LOS, and those are pretty easy questions. On that note, that's the last slide for this LOS. Thank you.